Oh my God, bro, that thunder. Um, so today is a pretty, it's a pretty downer of a day. The weather was pretty bad um, as I was leaving, but we're gonna try to make the best of it. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I feel like recently I've really just been accomplishing a lot of my goals that I've had over, you know, my life. So number one, I just acquired my first brand deal. Well, not my first brand deal, but my first pay brand deal. Okay. Okay, let me go somewhere else where it's not so freaking loud, bro. Like, come on. This guy's trying to get through and they got all of this, this racket. So let me just, let me, I'm, I do this every time. I do this every single time. <sighs> okay, let me catch you guys in a second. All right, I moved locations and I just realized I'm back to where it all started. So for a lot of you guys that's new to the channel, you would know this, but this is the first place that I actually moved to uh, when I first moved to Miami. Um, and just being here, so let me put the camera down right quick. Just being here again is so crazy because I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been over here in a minute. It's been at least a year by now. To yacht casually just posting by right now. So I'm gonna give it some time to, you know, do this thing. You know, it is crazy to be back over here after, you know, going through so much, you know, because when I first moved out here, guys, I was only 20 years old. I was pretty much a baby, you know. I, I didn't know what I was doing. Now it's been about two years and I feel like I kind of have more of a grasp on this adulting thing. I've, I've gone through more trials and tribulations. It was nice, and I kind of feel like a big brother in some way, I don't know. But as I was saying, back to the video. I'm so excited to mention that I do finally have my first paid brand deal. I don't know, I just feel like once a company reaches out to your channel, it just certifies you as a YouTuber. I don't know, maybe that's just a stupid thought, but you know, I finally got a brand deal, feels nice. Um, so it's actually set up in September. That, that I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay. And you know what? With that one, we're gonna just move on past because now I'm, I feel awkward. I'm finally monetized. So for the longest time, guys, I've been grinding this 1,000 subscriber, 4,000 watch hour fucking hurdle. Like it's a fucking battle. I know I probably look pretty confident on camera, or maybe I don't. I don't know. But I try to look pretty confident on camera. But in reality, you know, growing up. I wasn't the most secure kid in myself. For as long as I can remember, I just felt like I didn't deserve anything, regardless of how much work I put in. And I did make a video titled, what was the title? I don't remember the exact title, but I'm gonna put it on screen. I did make a video and it's basically talking about imposter syndrome. You feel like you don't deserve the position that you're in in life, regardless of how much work or effort or whatever you put in. And a lot of that comes from self-limiting beliefs because you know i don't know how you guys grew up but with me um i didn't really grow up with a lot of money you know i wouldn't say i wasn't lower class i'll probably say i was lower middle class if not just middle class you know i've always had you know i was never really struggling for you know food or anything um you know that was all we always had video games you know consoles and stuff whenever the new phone came out i typically got it so i was i wouldn't say i was poor class because that would be kind of pushing it but you know, I didn't grow up rich, you know, I didn't grow up with a lot of money. So, you know, growing up, I've always just, the way I thought about money was so limiting. Anytime I were to spend money, it always would used to like hurt internally. Like it was like somebody was punching me, but from the inside, I don't know. I just never enjoy spending money. And I'm still kind of like that to this day. I always thought of money as this evil thing that was controlling my life and that I just couldn't get to. Fame was another thing I thought I could never achieve. And I'm not saying that I'm famous or I even want to be famous. I will say this right now, Ty Dent has no intentions on being famous or whatever. I could care less about being famous. Honestly, I've already said it enough, but honestly, all I want is a community where I can come to, where we're like-minded and we can chill and relax and get away from this crazy, chaotic world and just be chill, you know, that's all I want. There was a point in time where I believed that I couldn't it couldn't be me. You know, I was never gonna be that guy that actually made it. You know, you would see stories online like, oh, blah, 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 blew up, or Kelly Stamps, or I don't know, Emma Chandler, I don't know, just random name, whatever. Whoever you like to listen to, blew up out of nowhere. And you always think to yourself, no way will it ever be me. I realized that, you know, everybody that's blown up or that's famous or whatever, they're all still just normal people. I've met, and I'm gonna make a video on this, but I've met celebrities in real life. I met Fresh and Fit. I've actually served uh, Fresh 
because I used to he used to come to the job that I work. So I used I've met the I've met quote unquote celebrities. I've seen Sneeko, I've seen Six Nine, I've seen you know these people that people look up to and just think that they're better than them for some reason. When I've seen that they're just regular people, you know they're doing normal stuff. They do the same thing that I do. So now I have a different perspective on fame and clout or whatever. You know, I'm not saying that I want to be famous, but at this point, I feel like, yo, like, why can't, why couldn't I? Why couldn't I, why couldn't I be another bigger YouTuber? Why couldn't I, you know, have 100,000 plus? Why couldn't I, why couldn't it be me? You know, why did I always believe that, you know, it would never be me? That was, it was so bad to the point where I didn't even think I was gonna be able to get to 1,000 subscribers. Guys, I've, I'm about to hit 2K. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go past that. Just hitting 1,000 subscribers seemed like insanity. And like now that I'm where I'm at now, and those numbers, granted, are still like a thousand people is a huge number. You know, I'm on to the point trying to get to a 10,000 subscribers, and it's actually tangible. It's not like, oh, one day I'm gonna hit 10K. There's no light to be seen, but you know, I'm actually seeing these numbers, and I can foreseeably actually get to those numbers. You know, if I actually get a good video, hit the right audience, you know, have it blow up, whatever, I can get 10, 15,000 subscribers in one video people have done it so it's actually it's, it's very possible when you already doubt yourself before you even begin you already limit yourself from your potential even if you don't become the number one you can become top 10 top 50 having a thousand subscribers already puts you in the top 10 percent of all youtube creators ever you know most channels don't get to a thousand subscribers which when you really like pull the numbers back and you look at the, my channel like you look at my channel yo i'm about to hit 2k subscribers 90 Five point fucking three percent of channels don't even have 500 subscribers, a thousand subscribers, and I'm about to hit 2K. Like, what the fuck am I complaining about? I'm sorry to curse. I know the kids are watching. YouTube you ain't gonna get me. When I first started the channel, as I said, you know, I had a lot of self-limiting beliefs, so many self-doubts. Even after being acknowledged by, you know, people, random people from like the street, just coming up to me, yo, Ty, I love your channel. You know, keep up the good work. It's so good. Or, bro, I moved to Miami because of you. You know, your words really affected me. Thank you so much. Even after all of this positive affirmation, I still truly just didn't believe that I deserved it. I felt like it was I was a phony or I got lucky when in reality, Ty, bro, ski, my guy, if you're listening, if you're watching, bro, like you can fucking edit. You're really good. Camera presence, good. You're not, you're not awkward, you're not shy. Don't worry about a thing. You know, keep doing you, man. But for my day ones out there, do you guys remember this exact scene right here? I forgot which video I made, but I might put it on screen, but it was this exact scene right here. And I'm just, to be back in this moment feels immaculate. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, if I'm gonna keep it brief and honest, of course, I still deal with, you know, my self-beliefs. There's some times where I feel like I'm not good enough. You know, I feel like my editing is too amateur or this is off, or my camera presence is off, or I'm stuttering too much. If you would've told me three years ago that I would be here right now, I wouldn't believe you. If you would've told me, you know, I'll be in a, I'll be in downtown Miami, damn near the top floor, you know, living my life, I wouldn't believe you. Like Miami, bro, three years ago, three, bro, if I go back three years ago, I was working at, where was I working? Where was I working? Full moon, full moon. It was this barbecue joint. I remember now. Crazy stuff, man, crazy. That was so long ago. It's so crazy how fast it goes by. I don't know, it just feels so weird to finally just, just to start accomplishing all your childhood dreams, all your childhood goals, you know? What I'm doing right now is low-key a dream to me. Three years ago, I would I would have never believed, like, bro, look where I'm at. I'm not, to, I'm not supposed to be here, bro. Like, I didn't come from this you know i am from mississippi you guys if you don't know and you know it's, it, mississippi is the polar opposite of this trust me to be here because of what i did and, and crushing my limiting beliefs and surpassing every goal every single time waking up and saying you know what i'm gonna get up in the morning i'm gonna post a video even though last video was a 10 out of 10 i only got what 30 40 views fuck it i'm gonna wake my ass back up and i'm gonna post again because I believe in and I believe in the journey. I believe in my skills and what I, I can do. So I'm gonna keep coming. I got here, you know, I'm finally monetized. I got a brand deal coming on the way. It's really only up from now. You guys can see the smile on my face. I'm just, you know, I don't know.
I guess I should mention, I do want to update you guys on what's going to be happening with the channel coming up. So I feel like recently, I've really just been talking about me and just talking about my life. But I do know that a lot of you guys still want to move to Miami. You still have so many questions on, you know, moving to Miami and, and cost of living and all of that. So coming up, I'm going to start focusing a little bit more on the Miami content. You know, just talking about cost of living because my rent will be going up in October or November, one of them which is really annoying and you know that just happens so I, I am going to be talking about you know the rent prices going up and all of that so stay tuned for that you know i just want to say guys thank you so much for you know just such a beautiful year when i first started off 2024 i had so many goals that i wanted to accomplish and to be honest with you i've accomplished a lot of them you know like i said i've gotten monetized i hit over a thousand subscribers i'm about to get a brand deal that's paid you know that's wonderful for the channel i'm gonna leave you guys with this i don't know your circumstance i don't know where you're from who you are boy or girl mom or dad even he agrees you know if you have a dream you want to accomplish it you know this might be coming from this this might be a little optimistic or might be a little naive still whatever i might be a little kid but i feel like you should go chase it you know i haven't technically made it or anything yet but to see where I'm, well, I've made it, bro. I'm only 20, 20, bro. I'm only 22 years old. I live in downtown, top floor down there, and I, I'm, I'm chilling. You know, I, of course I have a normal job. It pays the bills, but we're good. The channel's going up. You know, things are just going in order the way it's supposed to. You know, nothing's being rushed. I used to get so stressed over subscribers and views, and now it just everything now is just flowing. Like I get views here and there. I'm getting more views than ever, and I don't even realize it. Like I'm not even. Like I'm trying less, but getting more. This this is like the best time for my channel, and I'm so like happy. Like this, I'm gonna remember these moments forever. Like these are my small YouTuber moments when I had a thousand, about to hit 2K. When I'm when I'm at 100K, I'm gonna look back at these days, these nights, and just reminisce back to like whenever everything was so simple. But with that, let me go because it is getting pretty dark. I'm literally using my phone as a flood lighting rig or whatever so let me go i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching if you made it this far honestly bro thank you our gal we're very gender inclusive over here thank you so much for watching you really mean so much to me you know the fact that you watch this i know I'm, I'm, I, I yap a lot i'm so sorry i yap so much but the fact that you watch me really just means so much so thank you but see you guys in the next video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did like it comment subscribe blah 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 i'm out peace uh, love your mother and thy neighbor. Bye.